Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to see uh, how to use Plotly library to create different kind of charts and also code effect maps. Uh, if you want to watch my previous uh, videos on Streamlit, click on the above link to watch it. Let's get started. Okay, we need to import Streamlit as usual. And uh, we can get the data frame from the library so plotly library we need express spx plotly dot uh, express so this library has um, iris data so we can just use this library and get the iris data as a data frame and then we need to create a variable figure variable which is ps dot scatter so we are going to pass the data frame and also specify the x value which is sepal width as well as uh, we are going to specify the sepal length as well as the y axis and color is pieces and size equal to pattern underscore length and we can have a hover data which is also pattern width and in order to display the data in this plot plotly uh, scatter plot in streamlet we need to use streamlet and streamlet uh, supports plotly chart and we just need to pass the figure inside the plot lead chart. Okay, let's run this one. Okay, let's run this one. Streamlit. Run. Streamlit underscore example 3 dot pi. So in this, this is a scatter plot with all the values sepal with length, petal length, and the width. As you can see, this is differentiated by the species color. Setosa has violet and mercy color, red and virginica is um, is of uh, green color. You can just hover along it, and Plotly is uh, uh, Plotly library provides a very interactive user interactive uh, hover. Plotly has another uh, data called Gap Minder, so this can also be. Uh, this can also be retrieved from px data and we are going to use the gap gender data and we can query it using the query method and we are just going to take the continent and the continent equal to oceania after this continent equal to Oceania. So that's our query. So it will pick all the values of this type. And then uh, we are going to plot that again with the figure function, figure variable px dot. We're going to just uh, display the line chart using the plotly library. So dx and x equal to the year and y equal to life expectancy we're going to retrieve and the color color would be the country color we are just going to pass this figure inside the plotly uh, sorry in inside streamlet which has plotly function we are just going to pass the figure inside okay let's run this one Again, this is um, Australia and New Zealand and it has this user interaction. You can click on a data point and see what is the year and the country and also the life expectancy for that particular city, for that particular country. There are two. So we can just uh, look at uh, Australia or New Zealand or both. So 
so we need uh, another library which is called a plotly graph objects in this there is another library called graph objects uh, we can have that as go and uh, with that we can able to build a scatter plot as well for example again we have a variable figure variable and we have a figure and we are just passing a data and we are going as a scatter plot so after this we are just passing the x and uh, y value so x value would be 1 2 3 and 4 and y value would be 10 11 12 and 13 and there is a mode which is called markers and marker equal to dict so we are going to pass a dictionary of size 40 60 80 and 100 and also we are going to pass a color of 0 comma 2 comma 3 so that's the figure we can pass that figure inside uh, streamlit again plotly library of figure that's it so this uh, helps to create a bubble scatter plot based on this so as you can see these are the bubbles and also it has uh, scattered based on the size we can also create a choropleth map using a plotly library so for this uh, we need a url lib library Import URL open and we can also import JSON. So, with a uh, URL open, we are going to open a um, JSON file which is located at so we are just going to get the counties using the JSON and we are going to load it. JSON and we are going to load it load the response so we also need a CSV file for this we need a pandas so we are using read CSV of pandas and we are just going to display the unemployment in uh, each and every US counties. So now we are going, just going to create a figure in which we are there is a so in the plotly library we have a choropleth map box. We are just going to pass the data frame and there is a GeoJSON so which is our counties. And also locations we are just going, going to pass the locations in which we have a field called fits and also we have a going to color we are going to color using the unemployment field so in this we have a color continuous scale we are just going to have us where it is and we have uh, we have 12 ranges of color which could be 0 to 12 and we are going to have a map style map box style as carto etc and we have a zoom level at the 3 and we are going to center with a latitude and longitude center to USA which is the latitude is 37.0902 as well as the longitude is minus 95.129 
after this you can give a opacity of 0 0.5 and you can also give the labels so we are particularly focusing on the unemployment rate so which is given as unemployed and EMP field we can also rename it as unemployment rate so after this we can update the layout by passing a margin And we are just going to pass the map inside the streamlet using plotly chart function. We are just going to pass the figure inside the streamlet right away. Let's run this. So this is the US uh, counties unemployment. Great. So as you can see, this uh, if you hover around, you can see what is the FIPS as well as the unemployment for that particular county. You can also save that as a PNG file. We can also create a heat map using Plotly library. Let's have a data for that. So we have column values as 125, 30 and 50, comma 1 and we have this is a productivity value um, 60, 80 and 30. Similarly we have three uh, set of values which is another uh, 60, 1, 5, so this is a productivity um, based on the time of uh, day whether it's morning afternoon or evening so let's uh, have a figure variable so in which we are going to plot the heat map for this we use library called image show i am i am show so we are just for going to pass the data and we have labels which is in the form of a dictionary so in which x represents the day of week and y is time of day and we are going to color the productivity x is equal to one day so this is all the weekdays which is monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so we are just going to have only the weekdays which is monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and now we are just going to pass the y value as morning, afternoon and um, evening. Figure dot update layout, we are going to have the side as top. Stop. We are, we are just going to pass the figure inside the Plotly chart of uh, streamlet. Let's uh, run this one. We have our data, and for each data, we have a productivity uh, for all the days of week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, this is for the morning, 
afternoon and evening we are just going to test it so as you can see the uh, x-axis shows the day of week the so y-axis uh, shows the uh, time of day and the darker color shows that productivity is lesser whereas the yellow color shows that uh, productivity is higher for example the thursday afternoon uh, productivity is usually higher compared to other days and uh, thursday morning and wednesday afternoon and tuesday evening these are the productive uh, hours these are the productive time of days so far we have uh, seen the scatter charts using the iris data of uh, uh, plotly library and we have also used uh, gap minder data uh, from plotly library to plot the country and also the life expectancy for the years uh, 1960 70 80 90 and 2000 and this is a bubble scatter uh, chart and this one is a corporate map for the u.s counties for uh, unemployment rate all these yellow regions are the counties that have a higher uh, unemployment rate and darker areas shows the u.s counties that have lesser unemployment rate and this is the heat map which we have displayed using im show method and this is the day of week and time of day and yellow color shows that it is highly productive time 